Well, if you've seen any of my older videos, you'll know that I, my Alpha Milano has a sort of upgraded ARC panel that I put together last winter. Um, and it has obviously the oil temperature and voltmeter gauges, which I put in there. And then I've used LEDs to display the ARC functions that were there uh, previously so that I had that indication. Well, despite my trying, so this is the original ARC circuit board that used to live inside of there. And I know that the fix for this was usually to replace the uh, five volt regulator. So, but despite that, um, I was not able to get uh, the lights to work properly. It was always just constant Christmas tree. Um, so I did replace this regulator. I did check out all the components on there. The capacitors all checked out fine. So replacing the regulator on this board was not able to get that working. And it did annoy me that I don't have any of those light functions working. So I've kind of gone about quite a fix. Uh, and we'll, uh, you can see what I'm kind of doing on here. I'm sort of a whole car rewire because the ARC um, is basically hooked to almost every system in the whole car, including all the lighting. So in order to get rid of the ARC, it's quite a bit of work. And I still wanted to have these working. So we'll show you what you have gone, gone and done here. Uh, I've got some stuff apart now, just looking at some of the sensors because none of these sensors used to be plugged into stuff because it was nothing but Christmas trees. So now I finally figured I'd plug them in. So you can see this board goes with the rest of these old ARC boards. So this is the ARC that used to live up above the, um, the glove box. And that's where all the lighting and sensors and everything in the whole car basically runs to this central device. In the wired diagrams, I think it's N22 is what this is. So there's everything on here. You can see there's tons of um, um, of these low of these resistors, which are obviously reading the current going through each of the light bulbs to determine if the light bulbs are burned out. And there's all sorts of stuff on here, like a little processor, serial interfaces, and stuff like that. There's a couple of regulators as well. There's an eight volt regulator right here, and then you can see there's another five volt regulator on here, which you can see that I've replaced. So I did actually try to take the ARC apart and fix it. But despite my best attempts, I was not able to get the ARC functioning to any degree in the car. It was just constant Christmas lights flashing constantly. So what have I gone and done? As I went and got myself one of these and I'm gonna use this to run the car instead. So we can see that I've built this circuit board from scratch, basically to interface the car's wiring into this Arduino Mega. So using the Arduino Mega, I can basically mimic the function that that used to have, as well as do some extra stuff. Basically, I just want my damn warning lights back. And I want to be able to remove the ARC and actually have the lights working because with the ARC unplugged, none of the car's lighting will work because it all runs through that box. So you could just splice the wires together inside the dash there where I showed you. Um, that would be definitely a quick fix. But then I kind of wanted the warning lights working. So since I'm kind of an electronics guy, I put this board together. So the Arduino just plugs into there. So I'll just take that off. And we have this circuit board. All sorts of stuff going on on here. We've got a, a voltage regulator, obviously, to take the 12 volts and because uh, all the sensors on the car are going to run off 5 volts. Well, that's what I've decided anyway. We have driver circuits for all of the original stock um, light bulbs, like the instrument cluster warnings. Plus, I have all those LEDs inside of that new ARC I built. So I put some extras on here. So there's going to be the seven LEDs plus um, a few extras for the door opening warnings, just in case I decide to use those. Um, we have all the inputs and outputs on the Arduino itself, um, all wired in. We have a couple of opto couplers, which basically uh, the Arduino needs to know when you've turned on and off the park lights. And it also needs to know when you've stepped on and off the brake to determine if the lights are burned out. So you need to put 12 volts into this Arduino and you don't want the 12 volts perhaps ruining the Arduino. So I use an opto coupler or an opto isolator in order to do that. Uh, what else we got here? Um, we've got a circuit here, which is a couple of comparators. 
Um, and this is going to deal with the fact that the, the um, interior lights always have to be sort of on because when you open up the door, the lights turn on. And so that circuit needs to be kind of live all the time. So you need to have a super high impedance circuit to control that. And so I've built that little guy there, I've designed that. And then that's not quite done yet, but it's gonna interface with this timer board, which basically, so this comparator compares the four doors and turns on this timer circuit for, I think it's a few seconds or whatever. I, actually, I can choose whatever time I want, whenever the door is open. And then once the door closes, it's gonna delay and then turn off the lights like a normal car does. We've got a couple circuits in here. And what these are are current monitors. So all the lighting circuits are gonna go through these devices. And so each lighting circuit is going to be monitored for current. And so when I write my software on the Arduino, basically it's gonna say when the brake light is pushed, if the current is greater than this, then you're good. If it's less than this, it's bad. If the current goes down, obviously, you know, you have a burned out bulb. So you're, we're, gonna, we're gonna calculate the voltage in the car using obviously a circuit here it's so that the Arduino is always going to know how many volts are going on in the car and it's going to know how many watts the lights are going to be and if there is watts missing basically from the circuit it's going to trigger on that light so kind of hard to explain but that's that's sort of the deal that's kind of that's sort of how that worked originally and so that's kind of how this is going to work now so over here you can see I've got my little labeler here and I've got my depinning tool right bit next to it. And I have my diagram, which I'm going to start depinning these connectors. And I'm going to start labeling them because these are no longer going to be there anymore. So I'm going to tidy up all this wiring and put it up all nice back to where it was underneath there. This board mounts, actually. So this is the... Um, this is the panel that that whole shebang used to mount to and then get closed up above the glove box. So this circuit board, so that's the little annoying uh, seatbelt buzzer thing. So this circuit board is going to basically mount to there and then the Arduino is going to pop on there. And that's all going to live basically up above the glove box and get screwed in with the screws. So you won't even be able to tell that I've done this modification. It's all going to live up where it used to live. Um, and then when I want to do a programming change, all I got to do is unscrew those things and pop it down and plug in the USB and go. So we're talking every light in the whole car, but we're, we're, even the empty light for the fuel tank goes to this bloody thing. So literally every warning light on this vehicle is going to need to be interfaced into here and programmed. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to do an update to this. I don't know if anybody's interested, but a uh, cool little electronics project I've been putting together for the Milano. I can finally get rid of that piece of crap that doesn't work and uh, go on with my life. Anyways, hopefully the next video is kind of everything working. I'm going to test all the sensors one by one, make sure they all work. And then uh, hopefully I can, uh, I took a programming course for Arduino. So I'm going to kind of just code it by uh, from scratch. So uh, anyway, Bye for now.